Uh, make a short film. Yeah, great. That sounds cool. Where do I find crew? Yo, Darius Britt here. So I've been getting this question a lot. I mean like a lot, a lot. And that question is, where do I find crew? Well, that's pretty easy. If you've got money, then you can just run ads and pay people. Get all the crew money can buy. Or if you went to film school, you can turn to your classmates or fellow alumni for support. What if you didn't go to film school and you don't have money? You're going to have to tap into the filmmaking community in your area and build up your network of collaborators. Now that doesn't happen overnight and it does take time. There are a few ways to go about doing that, but before we get into that, we need to do a quick lesson about networking. This is not networking. You make films too? Do you shoot? Oh, that is crazy because I'm working on this short right now and I'm actually looking for a shooter. Maybe we could work together. When you ask that question, this is what's going through that person's head. Man, I barely even know this dude and he's trying to get free work out of me. Does he realize how long it takes to make a film? How do I even know you know what you're doing? How do I know you're not an asshole to work with? The last thing I want to do is throw 36 hours of my life away at your film just for it to turn out to be a piece of shit. When you ask someone to work on your set, you're really asking a lot for from them. A five to ten minute short film could take two or three 12 hour days to shoot. That's a that's a huge commitment. That's a lot to ask from someone who barely knows you. A little selfish. The harsh truth about all this is people who are active in the filmmaking community are working for free all the time as it is for friends, for favors. They're always working their tails off. So for an absolute stranger to come up to them and ask them, hey, let's work together on my set for free for like 36 freaking hours, there better be something in it for them. And if it's not paid, then what's it gonna be? This is networking. Oh, you make films too? Are you like a sound guy or, ah, oh, DP? Cool, cool. You guys got any projects coming up? I'd love to help out. I could grip, be an extra, whatever you guys need. Isn't that much more inviting? Help someone else out first. Get to know them first. Make friends first. Show them that you're a hard worker and that you're great to work with. Then ask for help. They'll be much more inclined to do so. If you're in middle school or high school, this advice doesn't really apply to you. You guys can ask whoever you want, whenever you want. I'm talking more about the professional level of filmmaking. Filmmaking where you're literally spending days on a set. Okay, moving on. So here are a few ways to build your network. One, help out on student films. A few of you might be screaming this to yourself. Uh, I'm not in film school. Hold your horses. No, you are not in film school, and yes, you can still work on student films. Film students are always looking for help. They need cast, they need crew, they need extras, they need people to help lug stuff around. Even if all you do is grip on student film sets, you're still gonna learn a lot, and you're also gonna meet a lot of other filmmakers in key crew positions. The more sets you help out on, the more time you get to build relationships, the more networking and connections that you make. So how do we get on these student film sets? One, go to the nearest film school. It could be a trade school, it could be a community college, it could be a department at a university. It doesn't really matter. Do your homework, find out what's near you, go to one. Two, talk to counselors, teachers, students, whoever you meet there and let them know what you're trying to do. Hey, I'm trying to help out on student film sets. Where can I get more information about the productions that are going on? Three, find out if the school has any kind of listserv or email listing that you can get on to find out more information. And if so, get on it. Number four, find out if there's any Facebook groups for the filmmakers. There usually is. Find out about it. If they got one, see if you can get invited to it so you can get info about their productions. Number five, find out if the school's got any production mixers and go to it. Sometimes schools throw these things called mixers or meet and greets or what have you where the students get a chance to pitch their projects to prospective cast and crew members. If they've got one, make sure you're there, meet as many people as you can, network, hop onto projects. Number six, build relationships. When you go to set, work hard, meet people, and be someone people enjoy working with. Collect contact information. Ask everyone on set if they have any projects that they need help with. More than likely, they probably do. See if you can get on their sets. Work on those sets, meet more people. Wash, rinse, repeat. Keep doing this thing till you build up your network and you got enough friends to turn to for help. Boom. Join your local filmmaking association or group. Most cities have a filmmaking entity where filmmakers come together usually once or twice a month or something like that and share information and work on each other's projects and talk about ideas and stuff. How do you find out if you got one? Let's see. One, Google it. Google your city's name and the words association or film group or film friends or something like that. If there's one, it should pop up. Two, try to find them on Facebook. A lot of times these filmmaking entities have Facebook groups where they communicate updates or important information about meet times, etc., etc. Hop onto Facebook, type in your city with the words filmmaking association or film group or film friends. If there is one, 
it should probably pop up. Three, ask film students. I know we can't get away from film students, but they're probably part of the film group or they at least know of it. Now once you find one of these groups, go to the meetings, meet people, network, help out, volunteer, get on set, wash, rent, repeat. Get a job at an equipment rental house. By working at a place like that, you're going to know about pretty much all the productions going on around town. If not, you will be at least aware of them. When somebody comes through the rent gear, you pitch yourself like so. I would totally be up to helping you guys do whatever. I could PA, I got a car, I could run errands, I could grip, I'm open to anything. And then hopefully you can get on their set and if you can, meet people, network, wash, rent, repeat. The moral of the story is if you need crew and you didn't go to film score, you don't have access to limitless amounts of cash, then you gotta tap into the local filmmaking community in your area. Build up your network, offer your help first, show people that it's not all about you, you do those things, I promise you'll build up a network of collaborators and you'll have your crew. Well, that's all I got for you. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like. Oh, subscribe. Yeah, that's all I got for you. Debrit out.